Let's write the structure for isobutylene. So we have isobutylene. This is an older name. It's also called 2-methylpropene or 2-methylprop1ene. This is the preferred IUPAC name right here. But let's write it for isobutylene first. So we know that the ENE here, if we see ENE, we're going to have a double bond somewhere. And the butyl here, that means there's going to be four carbons. So let's just put them in a chain. And we'd have hydrogens around each one of these here. So this would be butane. The iso, that tells us that we're going to have one of the carbons branched off, usually on the second carbon. So actually, this carbon here will be branched off up here. That's the iso. And that ENE, that's going to be a double bond like this here. Each carbon will have four bonds. Let's move this down just a bit. So this would be the structural formula here for isobutylene, also called 2-methylpropene or 2-methylprop1ene. You could write this in a little of a condensed form like this here, where we don't write the hydrogens and we have a carbon here, 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 and here. That's one way to do it. Or you could look at the 3D model for isobutylene. That looks like this here. And you can see this carbon here has the two hydrogens. The carbon's on the end. They have three and the one in the middle. It has one, two, three, four bonds. It doesn't have any carbons. So that's the formula for isobutylene. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.